responsible borrowing. And today the, the, the skit focused on the cooling of period. So explain what this cooling of period is and whether this is standard practice and what clients are entitled to under the law. Thank you, Bernard. Um, cooling of period simply means that um, it's a period that followed through right after the signing of the agreement, loan agreement. Mm. And this is usually between day one and five where you can decide to take the loan or you can decide that you are not taking the loan anymore. Mm -hmm. But make sure that you don't touch the money. Mm -hmm. You will have the money all right approved, but if you don't assess it, then you can confidently come back and say within the period you are not taking the loan. And it's, it's something that is very legal that um, all clients should know. Mm. Is it a fair practice for financial service providers to charge client fees for deciding to terminate the loan process, I when I say I won't take the loan, which is in, in the best interest of the client, but also the financial service provider? Yes. Um, the law actually requires the lender to charge a fee mm -hmm. for cancellation by the client, but the fee cannot be more than 0.25% of the principal amount, loan amount. Mm. Now, such fees are charged for simple reason that during the process, staff times have been used and there's some little cost incurred mm. and those come in to compensate it. Mm. But usually, as I said earlier, if, if you don't assess the loan within the first five, p five days, which is the cooling off period as stipulated in the laws, mm. then you don't pay anything. But so once you touch it, then you have to pay. Is the client obliged to pay such a fee if it wasn't disclosed during the loan process and the client is only told at a point when she makes a decision to terminate. So I, does this kick in if I am given that warning or it only kicks in when I say, okay, I don't want the money again, then you say then you have to pay a penalty. The, the only time a client can refuse to pay the charges when the, it is proven that the client was not given full information about the loan. Okay. Especially when you are not told that... Um, um, if you uh, assess the loan and then you want to come back and say you won't pay, then you have to pay a fee. Mm -hmm. Now, legally, if this goes to court, then the, the financial institution may lose because the, the, the terms and conditions were not fully disclosed to the client. Mm. So th that's, it's important for the client to be, to be alerted. Why did the Bank of Ghana introduce the rules on disclosure and product transparency for uh, credit products and services? Um, I think this came as, as um, a way to fill the void that they saw in terms of disclosure and, and transparency. Mm -hmm. And the key objectives includes um, public trying to foster public confidence and trust in the banking sector, mm -hmm. which will promote financial stability, mm -hmm. growth and then efficiency. Mm -hmm. Again, to protect the borrower and the businesses by promoting fair banking practices. Mm -hmm. Um, to also educate and then increase transparency and disclosure to better inform the borrowers. Mm -hmm. So most times, once um, the client is able to be aware of some of these things, then um, the client will be happy paying, and then the bank will also be happy running. Mm. So finally, w what is the importance of this cooling off period, and what else should prospective clients know about this cooling off period before they go for loans? Um, you know, we decide on some of these things very quick. There are times events occur and then quickly we jump into action and say, I need a loan. Then upon reflection, you may contact your bankers, everything they will approve, but upon reflection, you may want to stop this loan mm -hmm. and then do something else. And so usually when you have this cooling off period, it allows you to really decide properly to whether to go for the loan or not, especially when you get to know the terms and conditions and if they are not favorable, at some point you may decide to stop. Mm. But if we don't have any cooling off period and then you go in day one, day two, you get a loan, you start, you assess it, then you come back to them, it becomes a problem for you to deal with. Mm. So naturally, we expect every client to ask for that kind of right and then make sure they are reflected in the contract and agreement that they get for their, from their bankers so that when anything comes up, we can fall on it. Mm. Thank you very much, uh, Yao. This campaign, this smart campaign, is 
on for the next 10 weeks. It's a 13 week campaign creating awareness on financial services and how they are delivered. It's brought to you by the Center for Financial Inclusion at ASEAN with support from Financial Inclusion Forum of Africa. Next week, when it's next week Tuesday, they're back to continue with the discussion. We'll be back with more. This is the City Breakfast Show. Stay with us. This is the City Breakfast Show. The city's biggest conversation.